The best time to photograph the Milky Way. Hello, Photopillar Rafael the Bar here. If you're wondering when is the best time to take photos of the Milky Way, like this one or this one, when you see the spectacular Milky Way core shining bright in the sky, well, you're at the right place. Because today I'm going to show you how to use Photopills to quickly figure out the exact date and time the Milky Way and the core will be at the position you want in the sky so you can go and capture the photo you want. And what I'm going to show you today works for the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. Actually, it works for any location on Earth. Ready? Let's go! What's the best time to photograph the Milky Way and its core? Well, the Milky Way is visible every day and night. What's not visible? It's its core. It's, it's the galactic center, the brightest part of the Milky Way, which is only visible for a certain number of months during the so-called Milky Way season. But does that mean that you cannot photograph the Milky Way outside the Milky Way season without the core? Of course you can! And at the end of the video I'm going to show you the options you have to photograph the winter Milky Way in the Northern Hemisphere and the summer Milky Way in the Southern Hemisphere, which is pretty cool. But first things first, let's see when the Milky Way season begins, when the core begins to appear above the horizon at night for the Northern Hemisphere. Afterwards we'll see it for the Southern Hemisphere. Ok, go to photo pills, tap on the planner, I'm going to use the planner to plan the Milky Way and now tap on the map settings button to switch off the sun and moon layer and switch on the Milky Way layer. So now if I swipe the time bar I can start seeing the Milky Way, the Milky Way is represented on the map by this dotted arch you see here on the map. And the date of the planner is uh, today is uh, December 21st 2022, so it's uh, winter here in the northern hemisphere. This is the reason you don't see the core represented in the arch of the Milky Way on the map. So here in the northern hemisphere the Milky Way season begins in March and ends in October. So from March to October you can photograph the core of the Milky Way above the horizon at night. So let's set the date to the new moon in March for example and the easiest way to do it is to go to the second Milky Way panel and tap on the picture of the Milky Way here on the panel until the date is set to the new moon in March which is on, which is on March the 21st 2023. So from March to June it's a great time to photograph the Milky Way and its core when it's low in the sky. It's great for panoramas for example, if you bring the red pin, you put the red, the red pin to uh, the, near the, your subject, near the subject you want to photograph in the Milky Way, you will be able to start planning your shots. But as you see here the arch is pretty low in the sky, it's uh, pretty close to the horizon. Check the top panel, the picture of the Milky Way is pretty horizontal and you can also check the night they are and visualize it. Visualize the position of the Milky Way. Horizon here and here you have the Milky Way. It's super uh, super low in the sky, great for panoramas. And here we have the core of the Milky Way. You have the date and time. Awesome! Use the mental rally views guys because it allows you to visualize what's happening in the sky through your phone, which is great. So from March to June, great for panoramas and diagonals, let's go to July. You'll see that in July you can start photographing in the Northern Hemisphere beautiful diagonals of the Milky Way. Not really, you cannot get the Milky Way that low with the core above the horizon. Uh, but in July and August and September and October you can get Milky Way completely vertical. So from end June uh, till October Vertical composition of the Milky Way is possible. Diagonals of the Milky Way from uh, March till September more or less. And uh, beautiful panoramas of the Milky Way when it's low in the sky from March to uh, June in the Northern Hemisphere. So imagine that you want to plan a vertical Milky Way shot here in February in Menorca in July. You set the date, you can tap the icon on top panel to set the new moon date and then you need, just need to cite the time until the Milky Way is completely vertical. And when you have it, just place the red pin, your shooting spot, right where you want the Milky Way to be relative to your subject, in this case the Favaric Lighthouse. Super easy! And now on the planner, on the time bar, you have the date, July 18th, 2023, that's the date of the shot, at 2.48 am, this is Tuesday. Actually, I could go and make it Saturday, it's easier. Saturday is better than Tuesday for photographing the Milky Way. So yeah, in this case it's July 22nd, 2023 at 2.29 a.m. on Saturday 
The Mukwe is, is going to be completely vertical with the Varish Lighthouse. If your shooting spot is the red pin position, and if I tap on the night AR here, wow, you see the Milky Way, the core, and as you see, the Milky Way is completely, completely vertical. So cool, so cool, so cool. Now, a quick tip the northern you go, the more north you go, the less visible is the galactic center. And if you go to latitudes above 50 degrees, probably the galactic center won't be visible. But if it gets dark enough, you'll be able to photograph the Milky Way during the astronomical twilight, at the, at the end of the astronomical twilight. This is the reason the Milky Way is still represented a bit faint on the map. Okay, in the southern hemisphere, the Milky Way season goes from February to October. But the difference between the southern hemisphere and the northern hemisphere is that in the southern hemisphere, the core is much higher in the sky and you can photograph beautiful panels, diagonals and vertical Milky Ways with the core almost all year round. For example, let's plan a shot in the southern hemisphere. Let's check what's gonna happen in a Nugget Point in New Zealand. So tap on the load button here at the bottom. Nugget Point should be there. Yeah, Nugget Point Lighthouse, the repin goes right where the lighthouse is, a beautiful lighthouse in New Zealand, South Island, super cool, great, great. Let's place the red pin there so we can see the lighthouse and uh, shooting a spot, fantastic. And now let's double tap to the time bar to set the date to now and I'll do the same. I'll tap the icon on the top panel, the Milky Way icon to set the new moon in March, on March 22nd here. And now I'll need to just swipe the time bar. Well, this is Thursday, so I'll go to Saturday again. Great, because I prefer to shoot on Saturday. And now by swiping, swiping the time bar, you see the possible composition you can, you can get here. And as you see in March, you can get vertical compositions, pretty vertical compositions of the Milky Way with naked point, something like this. Diagonals too, but not that much, not panels with the core. Let's see what happens in June. In June, you can get almost vertical compositions and then you can get, you know, the Milky Way panel can be shot in the, uh, in the west, in the west, towards the west. So I should go over there to photograph the panel, whoops, of the Milky Way with the lighthouse. Great. And let's see what's going on in October. In October, it's awesome for panels, but you cannot get the, the core and the, uh, and the Milky Way completely vertical. So it's also great for panoramas. So guys, long story short, you want to plan your Milky Way shots. You want to know when, what's the best time to photograph the Milky Way in a specific place. Just please place the red pin next to your subject and then check all the new moons uh, of the year to see the possible composition you can get. And then you just choose the, the mod that gives you the compositions you want. The cool thing about the Milky Way is that every day for the same month, you can take the same shot. The only thing that changes is uh, the weather forecast, the weather conditions and the moon. So choose the best date for the conditions you want. Okay, what happens outside the Milky Way season? What happens in the winter in the northern hemisphere and in the summer in the southern hemisphere? Well, you cannot photograph the Milky Way with the galactic center, but you can photograph the theme part of the Milky Way, which is super spectacular too. So I invite you to plan and photograph the winter Milky Way season or the summer Milky Way season, depending on where you are on Earth. It's super, super fun. All you have to do is just set the day. For example, here is on Saturday, November 18th. Set the time. The Milky Way is in the position you want. You see that the thin arch of the Milky Way is in place and then just move the red pin to a spot, for example. Let's move the red pin over here near, uh, near Punta Nati Lighthouse. Let me see if I find our favorite hut. Hut, 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 where are you? Here's our favorite hut. Dual and press on the map to place the red pin uh, next to your subject, the hut, the Punta Nati Lighthouse hut at this time, uh, in this case. And now, well, just move around the repeat until you get the compo you want. I think that's what I want, right? 
the mini and the thin Milky Way arching above this super special hut in Punta Nati in Menorca. Super easy! Now if you wish to learn more about how to photograph the Milky Way, you can do two things. You can watch this video here where I teach you how to photograph the Milky Way step by step or you can study well and download our super detailed Milky Way photography guide. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video and in the first comment below. Check it out, download it and study well. And as always, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe and I'll see you next Wednesday in another video. And remember that you have the power to imagine, plan and shoot. Legendary photos. Bye.